Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Jamaican international Deva Orgil has signed a deal in Austria. The first Jamaican international to do so, at the senior international you could say, as he has signed for Wolfsburger AC on a two and a half year contract. He'll officially join up with the team in January. However, this deal will time down in Austria until the summer of 2019. It's a wonderful move for the player. The club, Wolfsburger AC, they're currently mid-table in the Austrian league, Austrian football Bundesliga is what they call it. They do have some talented young players on the rise. Small stadium, but definitely a club that's going in the right direction and they're very ambitious, the owners. And to get the service of Deva Origil, I'm really looking forward to what he can do. As I honestly didn't think that he was going to move right away, I thought that he would stay with IFK Mariham for one more season, play in the UEFA Champions League, see how far they go, and then make a progressive move into Eastern Europe or one of the top leagues. But if you look at the Austrian league, it is a wonderful developmental league, especially for players who are in their mid-twenties. You look at Deva Orgel right now, 26 years of age. Spends two, three seasons in Austria. I could definitely see him playing, whether it's a championship in England, he could be playing in France, Germany. I can see him playing in, in, in a lot of those leagues. It's quite interesting, I, I tell you. And in addition to that, I'm hoping that he'll get opportunities as a number nine, the front man, the striker. We've seen for Jamaica and a few of times in Finland, he's been out on, on the right hand side, on the left hand side. I would like to see his opportunities right in front of goal because he's a lethal finisher, trust me. When I was 13 years old, I watched him for the first time in my life in 2007 at the National Stadium in the CONCACAF on the 17 tournament and what he showed to me is the future that he could bring to Jamaica. You know, he had an injury that kept him out of the sport for 18 months to 24 months. So his body, his legs are of a 24 year old, even though biologically he's 26 year old. So he still has a lot more to offer, not only to Jamaica, but also to his Austrian new club, Wolfsburger AC. So I'm excited and I'm happy for him as well. And I'm sure his family is also quite happy as well. In the past, we know he played for Vancouver Whitecaps, the resident and also the senior team, that's before they were in the MLS and in addition to that he played at St. George's Sports Club here in Jamaica. So he's been, been up and around, remember he was a part of Jamaica squad in the Copa America Centenario, so he has had quite a bit of experience in uh, football with tremendous pedigree. You know in the Austrian league, sorry the Finnish league, last season where he helped IFK Mariham to win the title, 12 goals. 8 assists in 28 matches. Lovely return, isn't it? Purple patch of form. So he's been involved in 20 goals in 28 matches. That's title winning form in Finland for sure. Quite wonderful. And if you look at his spell in Finland as a whole, the four seasons, he scored 43 goals in 94 matches. That is just a shade underscoring a goal every other game. So a goal every 190 minutes he scored in Finland. Remarkable. I'm hoping that he'll be able to continue that form into Austria, make Jamaicans proud and progress further in his career. I'm Simon Preston, this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Don't forget to like our Facebook page, Reggae Boys Commentary. And don't forget to check out Footballer on YouTube. Just type in Footballer clothing and you'll see their lovely apparel they have you know shirts sweatshirts t-shirts caps all different types of um, apparel so definitely do check them out they also have the website footballer.com so definitely do give them a uh, look because they do have some wonderful gear and they've done some wonderful work for jamaicans and also caribbean internationals in the past and in addition don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel reggae boys commentary